Hey guys, what's up? Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope that you're doing well. For the joy of God is our strength, he's our rock, he's our fortress, he's our shield, he's our buckler, he's our time in trouble. He's just the God that we should be looking to at all times because he is the one that's leading us through this pandemic, leading us through this crisis, lack of food security, lack of money to pay bills, lack of many things that many people are going through right now. We are here and we can still give God thanks that he has kept us this far. I know God will have it that he would walk me up and you know want me to really make this video and I have to be obedient to the voice and the spirit of God. So I'm here to do and speak thus say God really but let me just pray as the Holy Spirit leads me Father God we just want to magnify you we want to glorify you because you are worthy to be praised hallelujah ask for your Holy Spirit to come and take control of this video Lord and let your spirit be felt in the name of Jesus Christ let your fire burn right now and let their hearts be convicted even now in Jesus name hallelujah 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 amen thank you Jesus guys God is so good really God is so good and I am not able to comprehend the love that Jesus Christ really have for us I mean he's in he's he's irresistible unshakable unstoppable and he's just unimaginable unfathomable he's just God all by himself guys I'm telling you this guy here is real he's real and anyone who watched this video wants to tell someone if God can save a wretch like me he can save you to God be the glory so I want to get into the message guys and I want to speak to you on God is simply saying we should maintain our sexual purity keep that going sexual purity is very important and uh, this is for all of us to be encouraged and to be blessed and to be restored and to be healed so hope that you're blessed the scripture is I know that God gave me the scripture 1st Corinthians I have to read this for you 1st Corinthians chapter 6 verse 12 to 20 so that's 1st Corinthians chapter 6 verse 12 to 20 and it reads all things are lawful for me but all things are not helpful all things are lawful for me but I will not be brought under the power of any fools for the stomach and stomach for foods but God will destroy both it and them no the body is not for sexual immorality but for the Lord and the Lord for the body and God both raised up the Lord and will also raise us up by his power do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot certainly not or do you not know that he who is joined to an harlot is one body with her? For the two says, for the two, he says, shall become one flesh. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? 
for you were bought with a price therefore glorify your body well glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's I want to read verse 18 again and 19 flee sexual immorality every sin that a man does is outside the body but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you whom God whom you have from God and you are not your own and this is the word of God thank you Jesus guys our life is not our own this body is not our own some people say it's my body I do what I please I do what I want first of all you did not make your body that's point one your body was created God, your body was naturally created to be the temple of God where God lived inside of you therefore you should not be doing anything as you please with your body because the scripture says it right here you know and I should have highlighted it but do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot certainly not guys there's a reason right here why God allowed us sorry there's a reason right here why God allowed us or warned us multiple times a lot of times in the scriptures to flee sexual immorality because the Bible God knows that the, this thing is serious this thing is serious sex is not made for boyfriend and girlfriend sex is not made because you hook up with someone at the nightclub sex is not made for those who just feel the urge sex is made for a man and woman husband and wife because the two shall become one flesh that's a covenant sex is a covenant between two people that God joins together not with you and your wife and your neighbor's wife and someone at work and someone down the road or someone up the road no guys God wants us to flee fornication pornography masturbation and the list go homosexuality all of these things adultery loss all of these things we can think of God does not want us to be corrupting this body with all kinds of filth therefore that's what we say you know if your body belongs to Jesus Christ right if your body belongs to Jesus Christ shall you make your body a body of harlotry shall you make your body uh, again the scripture goes back shall I make the members of Christ members of a harlot Hope if I'm quoting it correct. Shall you use your body to do whatever you please? If to be so that Jesus Christ really lives in you. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit of God lives inside of you. Therefore, if the anointed man, if the holy man live inside of you, would you want to do anything to, to, to mess up that temple? Glory to God. Let me put it this way. Your house, let's say it's your temple. And let's say some important man or woman is going to come to your house. Maybe, I don't know. Let's say Donald Trump. Let's say um, the Prime Minister. Most of Andrew Holness. Let's say someone of high status is going to come to your home. Are you going to let them come into a messy, no good, dried, ugly, nasty, smelly house? No, I believe not you're going to allow that. 
you're going to ensure that the temple is clean to receive someone of high status someone of great importance you're going to ensure that the place is well tidy smell fresh looks good everything just to let them know that this house is a clean house if jesus christ is the man of high status in your life and you want him to live inside of you hey hey your heart oh god glory to jesus hallelujah would you allow the king of glory to come inside this mess and live in mess the king of glory will not come inside of you let me just say this you may be in mess and you want him to live inside of you he can cleanse you and purify you and 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 and, and just restore you yes he can and then he begins to reside in you through his holy spirit but there's no way you would want jesus christ to live inside of you and you decide to give up your body to all sort of sexual immorality jesus won't do that what did jesus say i will not pour new wine into old wine skins that's what jesus said he cannot pour his spirit upon a vessel that's not clean and that's not ready to receive it he cannot do that and if you're not careful careful now when you do when you when you open up yourself to all sorts of all sorts of sexual immorality or the fornication the adultery put the pornography the masturbation you just allow spirits to 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 cling to you and makes you become addicted to these things and this is where many soul types comes in that when you when you have sex with more than one per part when you have more than one sexual partner i mean you have you have mary you have james you have john you have sarah you have sasha you have all you know and you are committing all of this thing sin that god forbids you to and you have all of these spirits people be who were inside i'm just being real inside of you and then you expect life is just going to be normal like that not really to be honest because sex is a covenant it is and when you have sex with different different people you are joining in a covenant with x a b c and d and so forth and that is why when you want to settle down you realize that you cannot really get over a b c and d even when you're married to f god wants us to be cleansed out from the system guys there's a lot of spirits out there the jezebel spirit the marine spirit those delilahs they are out there guys trying to trap us into all sorts of sexual immorality and God wants us to flee from that because do you know that any sexual sin that you do, you do it into the body. You defile your body. And God really loves when we actually keep our temple clean. God loves it when we keep our temples, our hearts, our minds, our righteousness clean. And if you made the mistake in, in being involved in these things don't beat yourself up if you're a virgin good mean really good if you're not if you have made a mistake if you have slipped god is able to forgive and to restore you god is able to 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 make you from sexually impure to sexually pure still he can cleanse you he can forgive you of your sins he can wash you and he can allow you to contain yourself until marriage for those who got least to marriage that is because not everyone that you know will marry but you know what i'm saying keep your bodies pure guys because it is something that god cherish he doesn't want us to be defining ourselves with the things of this world. 
he knows that fornication is a serious matter if god really is in you you should just give yourself away to him if you're gonna give his if you're gonna see i surrender all your body is for him so that means since christ live in you you cannot do any and anything that you please with quote unquote many people say my body or your body because your members are the members of christ i read that part um that something said right here yeah that foods for the belly and well food for well food for the stomach and stomach for the food but god shall destroy both it and them now you know that your stomach was naturally made to receive food you know naturally now think about it this way god said god said foods for the stomach and stomach for the food but God will destroy both it and them now think about it this way guys you see the flesh we receive the natural food into our system and the flesh desires put it in a spiritual way now the flesh desires the things that are of the flesh so your fleshy cravings your fleshy desires want the things that the flesh wants it wants the fornication it wants the adultery it wants the masturbation it wants the pornography it wants the greed it wants the lie it wants the idolatry it wants that god want the, the, the flesh desires those stuff and if you keep feeding your flesh with these things if you decide to just give in to these things God said he will destroy both it and them. God is going to put every sin to just, well, he already died for everyone's sin, but it's going to come at him. When Jesus returns, you know. Clean up this place, clean up the mess, get rid of all the sin that is before him. Guys, I just want you to be blessed and be encouraged, guys. I mean, keep, if you're a virgin, that's good. Don't defile yourself. And if, if you have already made the error, that's okay. God can forgive you. God can restore you. You, you can remove from um, giving up your body to all sorts of sexual immorality and just allow the Holy Spirit to live inside of you. Because your body is a temple of God. If Jesus is your king of high status, he wants, to allow, he wants you to allow your hearts to be ready to be clean. To receive him. He wants you to know that, you know, as you said, if you're going to invite someone like Donald Trump, they're going to let them see your house in mess. Would, do you want Jesus to come the second time and catch you in mess? In all sorts of sin. And I'm not just talking sexual immorality here, and I'm talking others. Set your house in order. Your heart. Just get things right with God, guys. Because, you know, this is something that god wants me to preach and to teach and i'm just giving it out there to you your bodies are the temple of god your bodies are important your bodies are important it's not your own god god made this bro god made this sis god made this so don't think you can just paste all kind of tattoos and have sex all you want drugs and all sort of stuff your body is for god well guys just be blessed be encouraged in the name of jesus christ and i hope that you're just just going to the word guys going to the word god bless